Hey guys, and welcome to part two of my How To Tumblr series. So, if you missed my first part and you don't know what this is, basically this is a series where I teach you everything you should know about how to do your theme. So, last time I did how to redo your, or how to do your mobile theme, um, make it look nice and pretty, and how to put links in it. And if you want to see what we did, here's what we did last time. So I showed you how to put links, I showed you how to put links in HTML, which is just some basic coding stuff that you really should know. Um, I showed you how to change your header and all that fun stuff. So today we're going to do the hardest part, which is your desktop theme. So first I'm going to talk about why you should have a nice desktop theme. So, why should you have a nice desktop theme? Well, um, when people go on your blog, it's going to make it a lot more, a lot easier to navigate your desktop theme if you, it's nice and organized. And if it's easier to navigate, more people will follow you. And the point of Tumblr really shouldn't be to get more followers, but I know that it's always nice to have more followers. Um, also, it'll make it easier for people to find your original content if you make original content, if you tag it correctly, and then you have an easy to use tagging system, then it'll make it easier for people to find your original content and share it, um, like reblog it, because more people will find it, and therefore you'll have more people seeing and appreciating your original content, which is really nice and one of the reasons why I really like Tumblr, because it's really easy to get um, notice and get people to see and like appreciate what you see and appreciate if you know what I'm saying. So, I've already filmed this video once, but me being stupid, I actually forgot to stop recording and I had about six minutes of me looking up fonts, which really was nothing interesting. Um, and I couldn't erase it because, um, for some reason, the program I'm using. Um, I'm using a free version, which doesn't allow you to erase it all, so you erase everything you filmed. So, a lot of the stuff I would have actually liked to show you guys, me starting with it, and what I've done. But, I'm just going to show you guys what I've done up to the point where I am, and explain how I did all that stuff. But, I really would have liked to, um, you know, bring you guys along with me, and do it together. But, unfortunately, that's not possible. So, it's not like you're missing out on anything, it's just that... I'm just going to be like copying and pasting a lot of what I've done because I don't want to redo it because that would take way too much time and I've already done a bunch of stuff. So, I'm going to show you guys what I've already done and then show you guys how to get to the point where I'm at. So, I basically almost finished um, with my entire theme by the point where I was. Um, wow, I even changed the font too. Dang. Um, I did a lot. So, what you want to do is you want to press edit theme, which is that button there. Um, we used this last time too. If you watched my last video, you'll know what I'm talking about. My mobile, how to change your mobile theme video, which will be linked below. Um, if you haven't seen it, so we're gonna go into edit edit HTML, which brings up this code. In HTML code, basically, I don't know the real definition, but it contains everything in your blog. So it's just. I don't know, the magic of the internet, I guess. Whoever invented the internet figured this out because they were like a genius or something. I don't actually know how that worked. But this is basically how your blog works, this big thing of code here. So, yeah. So, um, what we're going to want to do is yours obviously probably will not look like this. What you're going to want to do is take everything from here. This is basically... I don't know. It looks scary, but it's actually pretty easy to navigate once you get the hang of it. Um, but I know the first time I saw this, I was like, my god. Um, I had no idea what any of that meant. And I'm just going to cut this, but you're just going to want to delete it. And when you cut it, and then your blog will be blank, and I'm just going to paste this back because I don't want like disaster to happen where I have to start all over. So, basically, what you're going to want to do is find a theme. I will link some resources to where to find themes, like stuff that I use below. But, for now, I'm just going to go into my history to show you guys the theme that I had chosen before I did all this stuff. Um, uh, the theme that I chose was from Pumpkin Sam. And it is here. So thanks, Pumpkin Sam, for the theme. Um, I will link to their blog below as well. And so here's the theme that I chose. So this is what, um, I lost my blog. Of course I did. This is what that origin looked like. Um, so once you have that, it's 
should give you some kind of code. Mine was from Pastebin. So we're just going to go back into my history and find it. Pastebin is where most codes are, but yours might be on another website. So don't freak out if it isn't Pastebin. Don't be like, oh, now I have to go back or whatever. You don't. And basically what you're going to want to do is there's this here. I don't actually really know what it looks like, so I can't give you like, it's a little thingy majiggy. It's that button. Um, <laughs> and you're going to want to press that, and then it'll copy all the text for you, and then you just either do that, or you can press Control C, and it copies for you, which is really nice. And then you just paste it into here, and you get that. There's a lot of things for you to customize with this theme. You could have your own background, which back when I started um, doing my own themes instead of just letting Tumblr do it for me, I was so excited whenever I read something had an option to have my own background. Um, <laughs> I don't really like that anymore, but once upon a time, I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. As you can see now, I just go with a really simple... Um, minimalist background because I like to put a lot of stuff on top of it and I feel like it distracts from the overall theme. Another thing you're going to want to keep in mind while doing this, I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you, so feel free to pause this video at any time or like rewind or whatever. I don't think I have to tell you that, but maybe I do. Um, you're going to want to have everything be like the same color scheme. You don't have to, I suppose. I suppose everything could be different colors, but I think everything looks nicer when it's the same color. So, I tend to use color schemes. Here, I have a red color scheme going on because I use the word love a lot, and I just thought red looked nice. So, I have stuff in the pink family, the dark reds. Um, over here, I decided to stick with my mobile theme, which you can see here is all purples. The background looks kind of blue on desktop, but on mobile, it's purple. So I decided to stick with the purple theme, so I made my links purple, um, these things purple, everything's purple when you hover over it, I think it's purple, it is. So, and I made the text just a dark black, because I said I always did. In my last video, if you watch that, I say I always have something like a midnight black to really kind of balance everything out, and so it doesn't distract. Um, this is just gray, but I feel like gray really goes with any color unless you have a bright color scheme, but purple's kind of like a darker color scheme, so I think gray, like, really went with that. Um, your picture doesn't necessarily have to be purple, but if it was bright orange, I feel like that would kind of be weird. So maybe just try to stick in, like, the same, like, if it's a dark color, have a dark color scheme. If it's a light color, have a light color scheme. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm talking so fast. And then with your links, what you're going to want to do is if it's linked to something on your blog, so you just submit, or your ask, a lot of things have an ask, that's your ask, by the way, in case you're curious, message is ask, or stuff like that. I believe over here, um, it's called message as well, but, you know, most Tumblr users use ask. <laughs> um, but if it's like you submit or something, you could just write backslash, but if it's an outside link, you're going to need to get rid of the backslash and write HTTP colon backslash backslash again again same thing with the secure server it doesn't really matter um so yeah that's basically where i was sorry i just threw a bunch of information at you but i feel <coughs> i feel like that is uh not really that hard this is actually the hardest part of doing your theme which is really easy so i told y'all it's gonna just be like an easy experience um sorry my brother just scared me a little bit but I told y'all it was going to be an easy experience. Maybe the updates tile will be a little hard for you because it was hard for me to learn. But once you learn, it's really easy. Now, <laughs> what we're going to do is change the font, which you don't have to. But I'm kind of a perfectionist, and I like doing things myself. So you're going to want to scroll down. I would think this is link for the special fonts. I don't know if anyone, everyone's will, but basically it's just the link href. And Google has font thing. I know. Google has everything. Google fonts. So basically what you do is you just choose the font you want. I went with, I think I went with this one, but who knows, we'll see. Uh, oh dang it. So I have to find my font again. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. I know, this is so exciting. I apologize. I'm going to use this font. Choose the style you want. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with bold 700 just because I think it'll stand out more. Choose the character sets you want. You want Latin, um, because that's like English and stuff. 
and then you copy this code that says add this code to your website. You copy that and then you paste that wherever is appropriate for your blog. So if you're using the theme I'm using, which you know there's no need to, you can just paste that there. Press update preview. It might not update right away in this tab. But if you exit, as you can see, it did just update, which I think now everything looks a lot nicer and a lot more orderly. And that's basically all there is to themes. I will leave some references below for blogs where you can find cool themes, but it's actually really simple um, if you look at it this way. It's not that hard to... Oh, my voice just broke. It's not that hard to do your theme. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, I hope you found something educational in it, um, it taught you how to do your theme. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, if you like me, make sure you subscribe, check out my other videos, there's a playlist in the How to Tumblr series, um, next week, next, not next week, next video we're going to tackle how to add a navigation page, how to add an about, um, how to add an update tab, I'm not sure which one I'm going to do, but it'll probably be how to add an about page, because that's really super simple, and I might just combine that with navigation, but I'm not sure, because that's a little bit harder. But, um, but anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video, where we will be learning how to do more Tumblr. I hope you're enjoying this journey together. As always, leave any questions you have in the comments below, and I will answer them as soon as I can, as soon as I get them, probably. Um, I don't really get a lot of comments, but... Other than that, I'm going to go, bye!